Hi, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be making buckwheat kasha with some bacon and shiitake mushrooms. I know, it sounds a little crazy. But we're gonna be taking Bubby's breakfast food and turning it into a delicious, hearty side dish. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with a package of beef fry or bacon sliced. Listen to that sizzle. Now we're just gonna let this crisp up. What I love about these skillets that we just got in is that they have this great non-stick factor to them, but they don't have the black coating that scratches off after use and is really unhealthy for you. Okay, we're just gonna grab a slotted spoon and remove the bacon. Oh, it smells so good. We're gonna go ahead and throw in one diced onion into the bacon fat. So it's gonna really absorb all that great flavor. Give it a nice stir, let it caramelize a bit. Okay, we're gonna throw in two packages of sliced shiitake mushrooms. You can go ahead and use a different type of mushrooms. I just really like the texture of the shiitake with this. This is smelling so good. Okay, these mushrooms are just about done. We're gonna go ahead and add our kasha. I'm using a whole grain kasha here because I really like that texture. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm getting all of the kasha nice and coated with the bacon fat and the onions. And you're gonna start smelling it because the kasha itself starts toasting. It'll remind you of your bubba. Okay, now for the liquid, I'm gonna go with some chicken stock to really amp up the flavor. You want to have about double the amount of liquid for the amount of grains that you have. We're going to lower the flame and cover it and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. You want to check up on it after about 15-20 minutes to make sure there's enough liquid. This is done. We're going to go ahead and stir in the bacon. I'm going to leave some over so I can garnish it later. We're just garnishing with the bacon. Who knew Kasha looks so good? Thanks so much for tuning in today. Remember to subscribe, follow, like, and share. We'll see you next time.